Hey guys, John here. Today's patch in pigments is called Machines in all caps, and this is kind of a mechanical, machine, industrial, rhythmic, sequential type of thing. I don't really know, but this is Machines. Okay, that was machine. So let's turn off the effects because there's kind of a lot going on over here. Let's go to our synth page, turn off the utility engine number two, and then let's focus on just engine number one. Let's turn some of these macros down here. So basically what's happening here, we have Camel 12 for this wavetable over here, and that can be found if we click this here in the transform folder under Camel number 12. We're dropping this engine down by one octave, or, or actually two octaves, negative 24 semitones. And we can see this position is kind of always changing over here. It's set manually at 0.228, and the modulation is from random number one at an, at an amount of 0.18. So let's look over here at random number one and see what this is doing. So this is going to be this touring, and the flip is going to be 50%. The rate is at 1 over 8, and we can see this length I brought down to 4 so to give us a little bit f fewer values to choose from, to give us a more... Maybe in this case, less is more in that sense. We can notice a little bit more change if we have less of these uh, of this length here. Now the re-trigger is gonna be free running, so it's always gonna be moving independent if we hit a note or not, which is kind of nice for a sequential type of thing. Now we can see how this is kind of just moving this around here, kind of just giving us a different shape. And if we go to the different view here, we can kind of see this is what it's doing the whole time. And then over here we have this phase mod at 0.564, so that's a little bit changed to the sound as well. Voices, we're going to be using all eight of them, and the detune is going to be 3%. This one is getting sent to filter number one, which is this MS-20, which is one of my personal favorites, and the filter writing is all the way to the right over here. Okay, let's talk about engine number two. This is going to be the analog over here. So this course is going to be changing here based on the same random here. So we're using the same random sequence that we're using over here for the wavetable, but we're using this on the course tuning at random 1.35. Now we're dropping this also by two or 24 semitones, two octaves. But the interesting spot is we're using the quantized pitch here. So this cue is selected and we select this pencil and we just des deselected everything. So it's really just using the root note of whatever you play, right? So if we just listen to this. Whatever note you hit, it's just going to be repeating that note at different octaves and so on and so forth based upon the speed of this randomness here. Now for our waveforms, we're going to be using both saws here and the volume is going to be all the way up for both of them. And then we're going to be changing the FM amount a little bit here. So we, we brought up the FM initially at 0 0.020 and we're also using macro number one, which is this FM over here and affecting that as well. So we can kind of move this around and get a little bit more frequency modulation. And the source for that is going to be oscillator number three, which is this guy, which is also a saw wave. <laughs> Kind of get a little bit more machiney sound right over there. Now this one's also going to filter number one, which is the MS-20, and we're using two voices of unison, and the detune is going to be at 3%. So which brings us to the utility engine. Let's turn this on here. Let's turn the other one off. And we just get this rhythmic type of sequence here. Now this is going to be first initially done by two different things here. The first one is going to be this function number one. So let's take a look at what's going on here, this function number one. Now we have this whole thing right here, and you have the same uh, shape here, and this is going to be rhythmic three. So we can click this, and here we have a lot of different types of se or presets of shapes that we can pick from. So I selected rhythmic number three over here, and then I dragged this to the volume. So now this is kind of just moving the volume in a rhythmic fashion. And then on top of that, we're also modulating that with macro number four down here, which I called per kind of like a percussive type of sound to this patch. And this is just going to increase the overall volume. 
So as we see here, this green as this kind of fluttering here, it's going really fast doing that percussive sound. And then as we increase this, this is kind of just moving the entire thing a little bit louder so we can get that same sound, that same percussiveness, but just increase the volume with this macro here. And the sample we're using for this one is Dense Rain. And we're changing the filter a little bit here. So if we hover over this knob, it's 60% high pass because we just really want that crispiness there. And now this one's going into filter number two, which is also the MS-20. And really the cutoff's pretty much almost at the top. It's at 15.56 and the resonance is quite boosted at 0 0.660 to really accentuate that sound. All right, so let's get into the envelopes. Nothing too crazy over here. Attack one milliseconds, decay 300 milliseconds, sustain one, and then release 20 milliseconds. Now, let's see what else we have going on here. Yes, on this first filter, I don't think we talked about this yet. The same random right over here, this random one that we are using for the pitch and we're using for the wavetable is also getting used on this cutoff. So random ones modulating this by 0.11 and also the resonance at 0.12. So kind of just always moving this filter in that rhythmic fashion. So we get this random movement and we can kind of think where we want to put that to really accentuate that randomness. <laughs> So we're moving that wavetable position, the notes over here, and then also moving the filter over here. So it's kind of all working in tandem from one as well. So we can click this here and we can see all those ones that we modulated here. The filter cutoff resonance and the engine two course, which is gonna be that pitch over here. And then the wavetable position for the first one, which is this guy. All right, now the fun part, let's get into the effects over here. So let's turn this on, let's turn off FXB and take a look at the first one. So this is gonna be, kind of interesting because we're going to be using this first delay and this is going to be a dotted eighth note let's turn some of these off here so we're kind of getting that sound here the uh, obviously the time one over eight dotted the fine zero feedback 0 0.140 stereo spread 0 0.101 high pass 215 low pass 3474 hertz getting fed into another delay that is going to be one over four and then find zero feedback 0 0.352 stereo spread 0 0.086 high pass 200, low pass frequency 3,174 hertz, and the dry wet's going to be modulated with this effects knob down here at a value of 20%, I think this one is 22%, and then we have the reverb, which is gonna be pre-delay 20 milliseconds, size one, decay 0 0.460, stereo width 0 0.5, high pass 200, low pass 15K, and the damping is gonna be at 0.6. The dry wet is gonna be modulated at 0 0.30. So if we look at this number three, this macro here, uh, no, number two, here we go. This is gonna be the FX8 dry wet, FX2 dry wet, and the FX3 dry wet. So basically these three knobs are gonna be tied to this effects right over here. Next up, we have the FX Bank B, and the first one we're gonna send it through is gonna be this distortion on tape. The drive is gonna be 31.1 dB, and then the dry wet is gonna be 17%. And this one's kind of just a set it and forget it kind of thing, because we're also using all of these macros. I felt like these were gonna be a little bit more important to use rather than tying a distortion to it. And at the very end, after the delays, the reverbs, the distortion and all that, we use a multiband to really squash everything through and kind of make it focused right in front of us the whole time. And uh, yeah, kind of brought up the low end a little bit here and then kind of brought the highs down and kind of just moved these around for the mid band to kind of really just get that nice tonality to it. It's, good, it's a good tool to contour the sound with. And it's going to be fun to play with these different types of effects here. So this effect is useful because if you don't want that much reverb or that much delay, you can do something like 50% or just remove it entirely and have no effects going. And then we can have the perk to really kind of move that vibe to kind of like maybe build up to something. Or just kind of have it tucked in there to kind of just keep the rhythmic going. And then we have the speed over here. So number three is going to be on this random. It's going to be tied to this rate over here. So by default, it's one over eight. And then if we increase that over here, it, or uh, we put this all the way to the right. This is going to be the speed that we get. And notice if we turn it to the left, this is going to massively slow down here, kind of cutting it in half. So if you want to half time it or double time it, this speed knob is going to be the one you want to do. And then also frequency modulation.
But keep in mind, this speed here is only tied to this randomness, which is basically not this third uh, perk over here, not this third utility engine. This one's going to always going to keep that same rate of modulation going. As we can see in this function, this is going to be the rate of 1 over 4, and that's not going to change. You can drag this macro on the speed as well if you want to do that, but I felt like I like this speed of this perk as it is. So, yeah, if you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours for a click. So hopefully you learned something from this video, and we will see you in the next one.